Welcome to a special video. It's a SolidJS hackathon release video. So a couple weeks back, I put out a video saying that I was going to participate in the SolidJS hackathon, and here it is. It's an app called Studier, and the idea is that if you've got an hour a day to do some studying, you can keep a list of topics and of YouTube videos and medium articles that you want to investigate. Let's take a look by signing in. All right, so here's the landing page. I've gone and set up two topics for myself. One is learning photography. I want to learn about manual photography. So that's something that I'm interested in, as well as learning X date, another thing that I am interested in. And so I've got a little time tonight and maybe I want to learn from this cool how to shoot manual in 10 minutes video, or I want to learn a little bit about X date. It's up to me, or I can go and create a new topic by just clicking on the add topic button. All of this was done with SolidJS on Vite using Tailwind UI. And you can also go and click into any of the topics. You can go and add topics if you like. And there's a cool way to do that as well. Let's go over and check out a Peter McKinnon video on YouTube. And I like this video, so I'm gonna add it to my collection. And I do that simply by clicking on this Chrome extension. And up pops the topics in with their thumbnails. I click on the learning photography one, and then I go back to my studier page. And there it is, ready to go. And I can go and categorize it as beginner, intermediate, or uh, advanced. I can change the description on it if I want. And ideally, at some point, it'd be nice if we could actually go and trade these with other folks. So you could go and create your own learning list and trade with other folks. But that's actually part of the reasons why I'm not going to make this into a commercially viable product is because one of my viewers actually talked to me during my building of this on a totally unrelated topic about this really cool system called alter class that allows you to go and set up essentially a learning class where you point at articles and YouTube videos and you can go and set up a course and then people can go and learn off that course. So I'll be doing that with some of my stuff on YouTube. It's really fun, uh, but I, I think it competes, so I'm not actually going to kind of go ahead with this really cool studier. But I have released a bunch of code along the way, including this Chrome extension boilerplate for solid. That's what drives the extension. And I will be releasing the source code for studier once I clean it up a little bit. I was going to release a Firebase kind of hook library for solid that I used internally. It's actually a turbo repo mono repo and I've got a bunch of packages in there, but somebody else beat me to the punch on that one and actually came up with, I think, a better library. So I'm not going to go and put out my library, but you can have access to my code, of course. All right. Well, I hope you are having fun with your SolidJS hackathon. If you're doing it, I know I had a lot of fun with this. Actually, there were some frustrating moments for sure, but the community was super, super helpful. And I really appreciate that. So there is still time left. Jump in, do your own hackathon project. Try to outdo this one. I, you probably can. It probably wouldn't take that much. Anyway, I'll see you on next week's video. Enjoy the weekend.